46 seconds of drama in the women's boxing there today. The Italian, uh, Angela Carini, she withdrew from the event after uh, she was struck in the face by the Algerian boxer, uh, Iman uh, Khalif. Uh, now, the reason this is controversial, Charmaine, is that Khalif was disqualified from competing at the World Championships last year after she uh, returned a test that showed elevated levels of testosterone. It has been an issue that's been bubbling away here at the Olympics, but it really came to the fore after this event. Uh, Karini said she'd never been struck so hard. She said she felt uh, unsafe. She's worried that she could suffer uh, a more serious injury or even something worse. This has really developed into probably the biggest story at the Olympics. Oh, what a great day to be a man. So if you didn't know, uh, men can now beat women up for sport. I mean, I guess the feminists got what they wanted, right? Except, is it feminism? Is it? Or is it just woke? I don't know. If you're confused on what I'm talking about, there's some sporting event. I'm not even going to call it the Olympics at this point because it's such a joke. There's a sporting event where dudes with XY chromosomes, with testosterone through the roof, can just go in and just have a fist fight with a woman. How does that make any sense? Check this out. A la mexicana, Mane Kelly, que... Se está llevando la contienda ahora en las repeticiones, el golpe de impacto. Sí, sí, sí. Se vio claramente de nueva cuenta el recto en combinación. Hasta cinco golpes alcanzó a conectar. Manejándose con el jab y otra vez en la combinación ahí. En el upper, otro golpe de impacto. Le van a aplicar otra cuenta de protección. Cuidado porque si llega una tercera ocasión es susceptible... De que le detengan el pleito. La velocidad de puños de Kelly no pudo contrarrestar lo rápido que desenfundaba tanto la izquierda como la derecha. Y en la parte de este tercer episodio se estuvo comiendo en reiteradas ocasiones el jab y el recto. Y bueno, pues aquí repasamos estos momentos. <coughs> so, the guy in the blue, it's a dude. He beats the brakes off of this biological woman. And then, guess what? He did it again to another woman, to the point where she just was like, no, I'm done, I'm, I'm, I'm done. You saw the boxer today, the Italian female boxer, just How saying, I can't be, two shots, two shots, she pulled away, she said, I can't fight this. 40 seconds in. Well, she got hit with two jabs, and she, a jab is not supposed to be that bad. I mean, I love the stuff, but I'm not used to taking jabs. I mean, that's not my thing, but I will tell you, two jabs, and she said, no more, no more, I don't want, because she got hit so hard, she said, I've never been hit like that before. And, you know, I always use weightlifting as the ultimate, but I think that fight may be, uh, it may be, there will be no men playing in women's sports when we're elected. They want to have... I'm trying to put this in perspective for people because there's a lot of woke people out there who think that a guy can just identify as a woman even though he's got a pair of testicles and a bat swinging between his legs. Let's just bring this down a little bit just to give some people some perspective. There are weight classes in men's boxing and MMA for a reason. Why? Well, it's because if you take two guys at the same skill level, let's say Conor McGregor, and then you put them up against John Jones, what do you think's gonna happen? Same skill level, but the dude's got an extra, I don't know, 30 to 50 pounds on him. What do you think that means? Well, he's gonna be stronger. His punches are probably gonna be harder. His kicks are probably gonna be harder, and it's just gonna be unfair. That's why they created weight classes. Now, let's just be funny for a second. This would have been funny, I don't know, 100 years ago, but now it's real. We know they're hermaphrodites, but they can test for your levels, right? And right. that's the key here. If this person is testing at levels that make it unfair to compete right. with women who have vaginas and nothing else, but then the it seems like a pretty and Right, I hear you, but the XY, the XY chromosome, I get that, but they're saying, the IOC is saying that they have gotten their testosterone levels within the level that is uh, eligible but to But do you compete. think that that boxer is a DEI boxer? What? <laughs> what no, it's a real no, question. No, do you, no, does he on, have man. an advantage? Goldie's laughing Does here. he have a chemical advantage you know, because no. of the hormones in his body? And I think yeah. there's a lot of people who watched that match and thought it was a mismatch. And I don't think that's a very and, controversial thing to say. Hey, women. Sorry to tell you this, but we're built differently. 
You're not gonna be as strong as us. You're not gonna be as aggressive as us. And it's for one simple reason, you don't have the level of testosterone that we have. You didn't go through puberty like we did, where our nuts made us the men that we are. You're not gonna outlift us in the gym. You're not gonna be as strong as us, and that's fine. We serve different purposes in the world. But if you ask a sane man and you say, hey, would you, would you go box that woman over there? Their answer would be no. It's kind of like putting a wolf up against my black lab. My black lab is badass. He's strong as hell and the best buddy I could ever have. But does he stand a chance against a wolf? No, he doesn't. And he shouldn't be expected to. But no, we live in 2024 where there are full grown men just beating up women legally. What do you tell men who have been convicted of domestic violence? Can you imagine being a man in jail? for hitting a woman and they put this on. Now, all of it's wrong. Domestic violence is wrong and it's wrong for a reason. I mean, look at the guy smirking after he just completely nailed her. So I have an idea. How do I start doing this? I would like to do it. I'm 6'3", 225. Go to the gym regularly. I would like to join one of these competitions, but I would like to select who I fight. I would like to select the dude who's beating up women. I don't wanna fight any of the women, even though I'm gonna identify as a woman for this, even though I have zero characteristics of a woman. I do have a package, and no, it's not super concealable, unlike probably all the dudes who are fighting these women. But can we do that? Can all the men out there just start doing this? Like, go to your local sports arena where they're allowing this, and be like, yeah, I would, I'd like to identify as a woman today, and I would like to fight uh, that woman who's got a beard and chest hair and uh, a tiny bulge. How else are we gonna stop it? This is in the fucking Olympics. This isn't Pee Wee Baseball. This isn't Leah Thomas or whatever the hell her name is swimming in college anymore. This is the Olympics and they're allowing it. Where does it stop? Pretty soon we're gonna have senators who are doing this. who are going to another country and wanting other countries to call them by their pronouns. No, that's it.